Hello everyone, Kevin Grigal here from Tech Formality, the blog that focuses on tech guides, tech news, and tech reviews. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at WebRoot Internet Security, um, Secure Anywhere. So this is uh, their middle tier platform. If we just head it over to their website, we can go ahead and uh, see their multiple different features that are included in these platforms. Uh, so we want to look for WebRoot Security Anywhere. And we will do comparison. So as you can see here, there are three different platforms that are included. There's antivirus for basic, basic protection, inter, uh, internet security plus with antivirus, and internet security complete with antivirus. So we are doing the middle one here. The only thing that it does not include is the 25 gigabytes of secure online storage, and it does not eliminate traces of online activity. Uh, so with that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump into the video here in just a minute. So we will be right back. All right, so we are back here, and uh, we actually are testing, once again, WebRoot Internet Security, the Secure Anywhere Edition. Um, this is the latest uh, version. It is up to date. Um, I just installed it uh, on a trial basis, so it is activated, um, and everything is good to go. Um, I did not modify any of the settings. Everything is still set to default, uh, so we did not change anything there. Um, and if we go down here and look, um, showing that... Let me just double check here and make sure we are good to go. So we will go ahead and check for updates just to confirm everything is up to date. Okay, so we are up to date there. And I do have um, Microsoft Security or Microsoft Defender turned off, so it is not running. So only WebRoot is running at the time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn off these shields for a second and go ahead and extract my malware samples. We will be doing two different tests here, one for malware samples, one for ransomware. Um, and WebRoot is supposed to supply a uh, uh, anti-ransomware detection as well and prevention. So we will see how that performs. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, pause the video here. I'm going to go ahead and turn these shields off, extract my files, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, and we are back, and I do have Process Explorer here on the left opened up so we can see if there's anything happening on the computer side of things uh, and the processes. And as well, these are the samples that I've actually used yesterday in the Komodo Internet Security demo or uh, prevention test as well. Um, so I will go ahead and link that video here if you want to check that out. Um, but these are uh, samples that were downloaded yesterday, so they're not really that old. They're less than a day old as it's not been 24 hours yet. So whenever I did download them, I made sure it was within that 24 hour period. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead uh, over here to WebRoot and turn on all of the shields again. So we are fully protected and we're going to go ahead and start with the test by going down through and running each of the pieces of malware. I'm going to do this in two separate sections. I think the first one's going to be malware, the second one's going to be ransomware. So we'll go ahead and run down through these malware ones first and see what happens. So let's go ahead and start here. We'll go ahead and run these all as administrator just to make sure it has full access. And the first one is um, going to be a quarantine by WebRoot. And we're going to go ahead and begin threat removal. Um, and as you can see, it automatically prompted a um, scan to run. So we're going to go ahead and let this scan run really quick. Um, I'm guessing this is a quick scan, so just scanning all the important files, uh, which looks like the Windows directory at this point in time. So we will go ahead and actually just run down through all of them. And if this pops up every time, we will make sure to hit the um, clean up later. Or we can actually, let's see if we can leave this open and just go down through and do them one at a time. Yeah, so it's gonna just keep on popping these all up the whole time. So we'll go ahead and keep running them all and see what we can get to happen. So this one's like getting us to install a, I'm not sure why Windows keeps saying that, it's saying WebRoot security is turned off, but it's showing here that it's on. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, this one's actually letting us download a feature. So let's go ahead and download the installation feature that's required by Microsoft. Um, let's see what's going on here with WebRoot. I don't know if that window is still open or not. We'll just keep on going down through and running all of these. 
So it's going to try to remove every single one of these each time. So I'll just go ahead and run down through these. I'll mute my mic and we will go ahead and uh, just fast forward through this so you can see the whole thing that happens. We've lost track of time, don't know how to feel But I'm not sorry I'm lost in your eyes, are you even real? But don't you worry Here we uh, actually ran a file there and it looks like something happened. Uh, so let's see here what's going on in Process Explorer. There are two pieces of malware that are running. Uh, let's go ahead and hit this continue button to remove these threats. Let's see what happens. some kind of process up there running. So it's still going through and running this. It could be that explorer.exe just crashed, so we could try to run that task again and it's back, so it could be that explorer.exe just crashed there. Uh, so let's try going back into that folder and running the remainder of those items. And I'll go ahead and mute my mic again and enjoy the music. here uh, we are back and looks like it did a pretty good job there are some things that got through so I can see one two three four individual processes that are running um, that got through their shields um, with that being said there are a bunch of pop-ups still happening so what we're gonna do is restart the computer really quick see what's going on and then we will go ahead and start the ransomware scans once we get back here so let's see if we can't end this X dot exe wherever it's at here it's one of these programs I'm not sure I'll go ahead and restart the computer really quick and see so this is doing the same thing it was doing with my um, Komodo test it's not letting us restart the computer so we will go ahead and run the shutdown command slash restart slash force and we'll go ahead and let it restart and once we get back here we'll go ahead and start the ransomware test and see where we're at with um, infections on the computer so stick with me here for just another okay so we are back here and after restarting the computer I do see maybe one or two things here that are still running in memory um, let's go ahead and check our startup really quick and see what's going on there uh, so this tips is definitely not a Windows um, installation that was installed with one of the malware samples that I just ran uh, so that's one that is starting at BIOS um, so let's go ahead and check out these ransomware samples now we're gonna go ahead and extract this um, to the desktop and we will go ahead and start running these ransomware samples just to see if we can't get anything to run on here and I will show you really quick before we hit yes on that that we are still all on uh, just threats removed so far 40 and it's actually going through and running and scanning these ransomware threats. So we'll go ahead and run through these um, 
ransomware threats and see if we can't get anything to run. So the first one's running there. That one's blocked. And we're going to go and do the same thing here. We're going to let the music play and uh, you can go and watch and see what happens. As you can see here, um, the Orion ransomware has gotten through, and it looks like um, our files are now all encrypted. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and continue and remove these threats just to see if anything comes back. Um, I think we're pretty far gone now that we actually did get encrypted. Um, we'll go ahead and clean both of these that it's asking us to clean and see what happens. So you can see the ransomware files are now all deleted. Um, only, there's only three left here, and the client.exe is still running here, and the Orion ransomware is still running. Um, it's asking us if you've chosen the wrong key or close this window, your computer will die. So we chose the wrong key and I guess we're pretty much in trouble now. So we'll get out of that window and you can see that we just crashed and we blue screened. So whenever we come back, uh, we will go ahead and try running a scan with um, Malwarebytes of Hitman Pro as well as a full scan with WebRoot and see if anything gets, gets picked up. But as I said, we're already so far gone in the tutorial and the uh, testing that we are already encrypted, so we probably will not be able to get our files back. So uh, let's see what happens here. And we will be back in just a minute. All right, so I did just go ahead and click scan now. So there uh, is the web root scan that's running. So we will go ahead and let that scan complete. And it's actually going pretty fast, so it doesn't look like um, we're going to be getting any threats out of this scan. Um, we will see, as you can see, all of our files, and that actually did find one. So we'll go ahead and click continue and begin removal. Um, so it did go through and encrypt all of our files with all of these um, X's here. So if we try to remove that and see, let's see if we can't get into our archives. So yeah, as you can see, we are now pretty much in trouble as the ransomware has gotten to our computer and unless we get that unlock key to unlock everything, we are pretty much in trouble. Um, so let's go ahead and run a full scan with Malwarebytes and see what it finds. Um, not that it would really do us any good because we're already encrypted, but we'll just see for the sake of the test how everything performed overall, um, with the exception of that one ransomware that was let through. So let's go ahead and let these scans run, and I'll be back with you here in a second. Okay, so we are back with the final scans here from Malwarebytes and... Hitman Pro, and additionally, I ran a scan with Norton Pro Eraser just to see what we can find. Um, so as you can see, there's five objects detected in Malwarebytes Free Edition. Uh, there are um, these are pretty much all just within the or the desktop those folders that have the samples in them. Um, as you can see, the Orion ransomware was detected by Malwarebytes as a malicious um, application, so. If it was blocked by um, WebRoot, then we wouldn't have to be in this situation where all of our files are encrypted. So um, that is a good job for Malwarebytes, not so good for WebRoot. Um, on the Hitman Pro side of things, combo fix is a false positive. These are all malware samples. Um, same thing here. These two, uh, Client and Orion Ransomware, are both marked as uh, ransomware files. So those are definitely um, malicious software there. So these are all items that were detected as well. So that's six identified threats minus one of combo fix. So five also on Hitman Pro. And Norton Power Eraser found one item, which is a, um, looks like a startup link to that um, tips uh, installation that was malware. So that's also included in here. Um, with that being said, I would say that 
overall, um, Hitman Pro Hitman Pro showed, like I said, five things. Uh, Malware Bytes showed five things, and the Norton Power Racer showed one. So, not okay job, I guess, for web root secure anywhere, uh, internet security. As I said, if it, if that Orion ransomware would have been blocked, we wouldn't be in the situation that we're in with all of our files encrypted. So it should have a little better shield on ransomware, I would think. Um, other than that, the malicious softwares um, that we ran through the malware samples, the majority of these did get blocked, so that's good for the malware side of things. There are a few still here that um, neither nor did the um, other two samples or scanners check against and to remove those. So those are also malicious as well that were not blocked by WebRoot. And then in the ransomware, you can see that there are three left. The Orion ransomware is the one that got us. So um, overall, not too bad, as I said. Um, could be a little better in ransomware, but that should be about it for this video. Um, if you guys have any concerns or comments, please do uh, comment them below of this video. Um, also, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Please do subscribe, guys. It does help me out a lot. And um, please do also check out my tech blog. It's techformality.com. If you have any questions or concerns and want to get a hold of me personally, you can go to the website techformality.com. In the top right corner, there's a contact button. You can click on it and submit a form, and I will respond to you as soon as I possibly can. Um, with that being said, that's going to be doing it for this video, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching, and have a good one, guys.